Hey guys! Today we're doing a highly requested video, which is a pram collection video. Now, usually I do this outside because I have so many prams, but for this collection video, I just have three. These three prams are just, I don't know, I just like them and the, at the moment there's not really a pram that I want. Um, I go through phases, I guess, where I like buy like five in a week. <laughs> well, okay, I was gonna say probably not that dramatic, but I'm pretty sure I've done that once before, um, but it was probably two weeks. Um, and then I go through like a phase where I just don't buy any for a while or I'm really busy with other things or whatnot uh, you'll hear my voice is a little bit raspy I've been sick for about two weeks now and thankfully I had a bunch of pre-recorded content uh, that was available for me to just pop up so I could actually just be sick <laughs> so these are the three prams that I have come down to um, I, I just have bought them and I haven't wanted to sell them I will go through them individually so you can see why I like them and why they fit into my collection. I apologize that this video has taken so long to come out. It's just that my pram collection changes monthly. Sometimes, oh there's Klaus, hi Klaus, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you bury your bone? I hope not. Oh, there it is. There's your bone. Ugh. Yuck, are you having fun with that? Is that a good bone? <laughs> good boy. I'm still there. You can keep eating it. Good boy. I love you. <laughs> of course you're gonna sit right there. <laughs> Alright, back to the video. <laughs> So I haven't done this video because I change my pram collection all the time, uh, but again, these ones have stuck with me for a long time. Um, okay, the new nut is pretty new, but I do really like it. I don't know, after I make this video, I could change my collection the next day, but this is my current collection. I feel like that's why I don't like to film this video, is because this is not a permanent thing, but this is my current pram collection that could change at any moment. You really gonna sit there? Is it really that exhausting chewing a chewing a bone? Klaus? Hey. Oh, there you are. Okay, I've gotta get back to my video. People will get mad that I'm just filming my dog, but I like my dog. <laughs> are you a good boy? Nope, you're just nappy. You haven't had a nap today, have you? Alright. Let me get one of these and then we'll go on why I like that certain pram. Okay, so first up is my Nuna Demi Grow. I have this in the double with the seat and the bassinet. Um, I would love to have the second seat for this if using it in double mode. Although this works really well with the bassinet down the bottom and the seat at the top. The seat can go both ways, like I appreciate that. The seat can go forwards and backwards when you use a bassinet and that is hard to come by in a double pram that is um, top and bottom instead of the side by side. Oh, are you stuck? Come on. Come on, you can fit. Sorry guys, I am very easily distracted by my class and I will just about stop doing whatever I'm doing to make sure that he is happy and cared for because he has the hardest life in the world, don't you? You have such a hard life. Oh my gosh. It must be hard eating a bone all day long. Oh, not having any pets. Oh, stuck outside eating a bone. <laughs> you stink like a doggy bone. Another thing that I like that is it comes with everything, so you get like all your little boot cubs and stuff, and the basket is huge, Ooh. and the basket is huge. Yes, the basket's not huge right now with the bassinet in the bottom, but in single mode it is a really large basket. It has the summer seat, how you can like zip off all of the fabric and it's just got like the mesh. Um, the fold is cool. I don't know, everything about this prem is cool. It has dream drapes. <laughs> It just looks so snazzy and modern. Look at that like quilted, oh you can't see that very well. The quilted inside of it. 
the um, fabric is so like spongy. It's got like this nice pleather handle. I just love everything about this pram. And the color, look how pretty it is. The, the black with the gray. To be honest, the only reason that I sold the Nuna mix was to upgrade to the Nuna Demigo. That was literally the only reason. I love the Nuna mix, I still do, but I figured I may as well get the double that was the newer version instead of having the older one, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, honestly, I just think it's a great prim. It pushes nice and easily. There's just, like it has its quirks, but there's nothing crazy about it. If you want to see a pram review on this one, I have a pram review. I will try and link that here somewhere. I should have a pram review of, of all of these. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, and how to wash them as well, because that is important to keep your pram clean. Okay, my sweet boy, we've got to move this pram. Oh, good boy. It's like musical chairs, but with prams to move them to the next one. <laughs> Okay, next is my Bugaboo Donkey. So my frame is a Bugaboo Donkey frame. I think it's like a 2016 model. But then I have, um, and that has the handlebars that are upgraded like this. I believe they came with these as well. But I have literally had four donkeys and I have swapped and pulled parts apart and change them to get what I wanted um, this is basically what I wanted um, <laughs> I have the upgraded handlebars I have the upgraded um, belly bars um, I have like all of the little accessories that I wanted the upgraded seat harnesses I wanted two gray hoods <laughs> they were hard to find I finally got a set of those and then I have the foam field wheels, which don't need to be pumped up, which I really appreciate. Other than that, just a standard kind of donkey. Uh, donkeys are just like, oh, and I uh, put the stickers on the side, which I really, really, really like. Just the black and the white look so good. And the gray as well. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I just really like the donkey. I feel like it's a really practical pram. And it's one of those things that I appreciate that you can recline both babies, sit both baby up. <laughs> Sorry, you guys have to see this. You can't even see him. Oh, he's rolling. He was rolling in the grass right there. <laughs> he's such a sweet boy. I guess the main con to this is it's a side-by-side -side pram and it's wide, but it does fit through a standard doorway like that. Why does my hand look funny? Um, yeah, it's a nice pram. I really like it. And I love the side basket option. I have this Donkey 3 basket that I bought. So what happened is within all of the mix-ups of buying the donkeys, like I said, I had like four of them. Um, <laughs> and um, changed them around. I fixed a few up and sold them and had a lot of fun with that. Um, or I bought them because I wanted like, <laughs> I wanted a set of hood rods and the lady wouldn't sell. She had three hood rods for the pram. So this is one, this is two, and she had a third set. She would not separate it from the pram. So I was like, fine. So I just bought the whole pram to get the hood rods <laughs> and a few hoods from it. Um, anyways, I ended up buying one without a basket. So I gave my black basket to that pram and sold it and then I bought another one online which I tried to buy a brand new one but they were all out of stock this was like just when COVID had hit like a little a few months after and there was like nothing in stock then I bought one online and I asked her I'm like just confirming this is black I want a black one will you sell it to me and she wouldn't reply for ages and then she finally sold it to me got to my house and it was like the steel blue color so it was like a a gray bluey color and I was like well that's not gonna work so eventually I sold it and then they came well actually once these came back in stock online I bought the donkey 3 basket which has this like zipper in here so you can fill it up with like higher with stuff and then zip it up so it makes the bag a lot bigger 
or you can just tuck it in and use it as a basket which I thought was like super cool and now I have my black basket that goes with my black white pram and I have a bunch of hoods in whatever color so in here are my donkey hoods so I have the two gray that are on the pram I have a red one that I've never used I have this um, I don't know what color blue this is right now I think that's just sky blue this is petrol blue I have hot pink light pink there's a Klaus hi Klaus <laughs> please don't drool on my hoods are all washed and nice <laughs> sorry as I was saying um, petrol blue hot pink light pink purple and I should have two cream ones okay there's yeah there's two cream I think and then I have just two aprons that match the blue, petrol blue and the white cream. So I'm not sure about my red. I look at it and I'm like, that's kind of cute, but I've just never put it on the pram. I think it looks like brand new as well. Um, but uh, Jen had the red and she gave me the red. And then a little while later I had a jade green and I swapped it. I was like, well, you gave me the red, so I'll give you the jade green. So we did like a swapsies, but I'm not sure. But I do love all the other colored hoods. I feel like they all go really well with each other. Like you can do the blue and the purple or the purple and the pink or two blues. Actually, I don't know if that would look good, the two blues, but anyways, they are all my donkey hood hoods. Oh, and while we're putting that back, this is my other donkey seat and the other donkey bassinet. Again, I acquired things through all of the donkeys I had. That bassinet came with another one, I kept it, but that seat did come with it. Uh, there is my double donkey capsule adapters, and that's where the basket goes. So you can use that as single or double. So that's why I like that pram, it's so versatile. I can change the color of the hood for the day of the week. Um, <laughs> I just really like that. It can be like with the black and the white you can put any color with it so that's why i really like to go with those colors and i just think it's a versatile good pram <laughs> last but not least is the cybex do i need to give you a good reason why i like this prim because i feel like this is the reason it's just beautiful it's just just look at it like damn <laughs> I love this pram I just I don't know I saw a video the other day and I'm quite offended it was the top three rated prams that were really expensive and not useful and the Cybex was on there not even the Cybex pram by Jeremy Scott, the, oh, sorry, wings by Jeremy Scott. It was just, if this had no wings and the black frame at the bottom and black wheels, that's what the pram is. Um, and they were like saying that it's not a useful pram. And I was like, the seat is so big. It's such a tall seat. Like if you look at the donkey seat and this seat next to each other, this is much taller seat. Um, the belly bar comes off, it swivels, it has a huge hood, it pushes really nice and smooth, it has a decent sized basket. Like, what is wrong with this pram? Like, seriously. Um, I don't see, like, it being... Like, of course, it's a, design, uh, it's a designer pram. Like, yes, it's more expensive because of the features that are on it, but I just feel like it's still a good quality pram it pushes really nicely I, okay to be fair I've only used it once because I just really like it and I want it to stay safe oh no my wings need dusting I do have the bassinet as well the bassinet lives over here I got a piece of board from Bunnings and cut it and it lives there now with my silicon in it and she's all safe in that pram and that also has the wings liner bassinet liner that I made for it 
The seat faces both ways and that's also easy to do. Um, it folds down pretty nicely. It's actually a half decent fold. And a cool feature that I like is, especially when I'm storing it, oh, how do I do it? When I'm like storing it in like the nursery, that handlebar goes all the way down. So I'm not sure if this is an actual feature that the handle goes right down out of the way. Um, I never normally lock it in. I just leave it like down there because I'm like trying to pram park all of my prams in this one room. But it's nice just to get it out of the way so that instead of the pram being this tall, it just, oh, this way. Keep going the wrong way. It's like this instead. Like it cuts off, I don't know, a few inches of space for me to park all my prams in here. And I really appreciate that. <gasps> Look at all the dust on it. Oh no. <laughs> I washed this beautifully and wiped it all over and it's dusty and I'm a little bit sad, honestly. <laughs> honestly, yeah, I just, I really like it. It is only a single pram, but I, it does everything that I need it to do. It doesn't have a set of capsule adapters that came with it, which isn't a big deal. Um, it has a bassinet, so you just use this pram with the bassinet and the seat. And then you have the others that you can use the capsules on. And they both have bassinets as well. So I guess, look at us go. I will quickly add that I did say this does have a bigger hood. It does, it's just zipped up. So if you want to see the review, there is a review of this pram on there. And I think it's a pretty decent pram. And I feel like it's pretty functional not just a designer pram and one of the things i liked when i washed it is it comes apart in sections so if there's just a certain part that needs to be washed it can be done uh, another thing is i have seen this pram for sale without the wings i could not figure out how to get the wings off and the hood off i also really didn't want to break it so i believe that they come off because the lady or person that's selling it said lost wings <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and the last thing that I wanted to show are my two capsules. So I've always had my Maxi Cozy capsules. I used to have, oh my gosh, I think I had a black one and then, no, I had like a gray one and then I got two black ones and then I sold one of the black ones and I got a pink one. And I had a pink and a black one. Um, now I sold the pink one and I bought a Nuna. I cannot get this um, lighting right. It looks like blue or something, or like just the wrong color. And I guess it's just a little bit older and that's why it's like that. Um, but my Nuna, I really like it. It also attaches to any of the Maxi Cozy adapters, like the Maxi Cozy connects to any of the Nuna Pippa adapters. So right now, at this stage, I am deciding if I'm going to keep two Maxis or two Nunas or a Maxi and a Nuna. I really just don't know. Like, I really like the look of the Nuna and it has the dream drape, but I've always liked my Maxis, so I just don't like the newer version of the Maxis where it has the hood um, attached to like this handle. I don't know, I like the free for all hoods that both of these have on them. So that was the last thing. Uh, both of these capsules fit on both of the frames that take capsules. I don't even know if my Cybex takes a capsule and I haven't really looked into it because why would you have a pram that looks like this and then add a boring capsule like that onto it? I feel like you best use the bassinet that has the wings on it. And that's just my theory behind it. <laughs> All right, so those are the three prams that are in my collection and I plan to have in my collection until at least tomorrow. <laughs> um, like I said, other prams have come and gone, uh, but these have a permanent place here in the nursery. Um, I rearrange them every time I have a temporary pram come in and then I decide if that temporary pram is going to stay in the collection or if it's actually just going to come, have a review, have a wash and then leave. Not in that order, I wash and then I review because then it makes it nice and clean. Uh, another, actually, one last thing is I, this is not the way I necessarily prefer to have the prams 
This is just the way that I prefer to have them in the nursery for whatever reason. I normally leave my big Liam in there so I feel like he would be a lot older and forward facing and Onyx has been sleeping in here making it like a little bit nice and flat. I bought like I made this little like pillow to like wedge to even out like a pillow wedge to even out the um, seat so it's a bit more like a bed. That is everything about my pram collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next video. If you wanted to see any pram reviews for the Cybex, the Bugaboo Donkey or the Nuna Demi Go, I have all of those and I have a video on how to wash all of those as well. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe.